Hello guys, this is Paul. Today I want to speak about the daylight. As you know, you have some available light on any location. And today I want to show you how to use available light under lots of different circumstances. This is alley. This is just a shadow area where we have some backlight, maybe if you're gonna catch it. But other than that, we just have the fill light, some brighter areas here on this side that can reflect to the face to add some light. And also we have these metal silver parts here that act as reflectors. Turn your face to the light like this. The photo that we're gonna do is gonna be a reflection shot and uh, it's always nice to play with the windows, mirrors and the light to create some nice reflections in your photos. I'll show you what I mean. Setup that we're gonna use is uh, this reflective window <laughs> wall. The reflective window wall that will create lots of nice reflections and usually girls uh, love this kind of stuff. Lean on the wall. So the first thing we need to show is the light on the face. And when we have nice light that has fallen to the face, we can also get it from the reflection side. So we're gonna shoot some nice close-up portraits. Just lean on the wall like a dreamy. Yeah, like this. It's very easy to use this kind of reflections and they give you this kind of unique perspective on the face, on the model, and uh, it's always nice to add to the story. So now we're at a new location, we're under the arch. Also we have light coming from the side. Do you see this? There is no light up, there is just light from the side. So when you have this kind of situation, the thing that you can do, you can use this light as a side light. And this side light can make you nice good photos when you put your model on the bright side of this location. of this location so let's see what exactly i mean and how it works the best light from this side and when we have light from this side it works as a rim light on the on the hair we have nice light here it's much brighter on this part because light is falling from this side As you see here, we have light coming from the from this side, which gives this nice rim light on the hair. And also when she turns the face our way, she has some brighter light on the cheeks, which makes the face more flattering. And uh, also we have contour light on the on her legs, on her hips and everywhere we need it so it separates your object your model from the background Hola. this is called light and such kind of situations when you have a light on the floor you may start thinking about the new nice picture. 
because these kind of pieces of light in the, in the middle of the darkness can give you amazing results. And I'll show you in a second how to use these patches. Here we have this rim light that make a silhouette out of her because everything in the darkness just the contour of her hair of her hips of her legs of her hands is visible so you adjust your exposure to this light that rims her and in this case you get a nice silhouette shot so this was the first option just a backlight and you can create these kind of silhouette shots and also you can do something like this if you're going to turn her face to the light. Just look straight. Okay, come here. Okay, from this side you can see that we have lots of light here on this side. But here it's getting darker. So what it means, if we're gonna choose our background properly, so it doesn't reflect too much, we can do some nice, again, low key, I mean dark photo. Today, guys, I showed you lots of different options how to use available light. As you understand, we always have a sun, we always have some kind of surfaces that reflect the light, we always have some surfaces that we can play with to create some extra nice effects on your photos. So guys, just go on the street and start looking at the light, the direction of the light and how hard or soft this light is. In this case, next time, on your photo shoot you will be able to start shooting exactly how it looks the best not just trying something but exactly know and this is what will make you a professional photographer <laughs>